We've got a big problem. The fine people of Flats Lagoon love nothing more than puffing away on a big bifter at the end of a hard day's work. However, supplies were empty. So it was up to one team to deliver the hash. Is that a dinosaur? The dinosaur's trying to eat me! So we were back on the road once again, attempting to make it to the swamp whilst avoiding all the things that wanted to kill and eat us. And finally we made it, with no incidents at all. <coughs> and after a brief bit of corpse robbing. Folk then had enough cash to pick up some merchandise. Need some drugs. Hells yeah. So Thok stocked up on as much ganja as we could afford, whilst Kyaku was assaulted by vicious beasts. Thok was gonna have to do this one alone. And so it was that Thok Subscribe. set out to make a fuck ton of cash. So with a bag full of drugs, Thok hoofed it over to Flats Lagoon. Fear not, people of Flats Lagoon, I have arrived with your illicit drugs. Good day, fine sir. By the way, nice. Let's see what we're working with. 400%? Yes, I had just hit the mother load. I was basically the Gordon Gecko of Kenshi. Yes, I was absolutely flush with cash and decided to treat myself to a meat wrap. Delicious. And as Thok and Kiyaku shared a joint Kenshi bank account, Kiyaku was then able to purchase even more drugs. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're thinking small potatoes here. Yes, if we were gonna go after the big potatoes, we needed to expand our operation. This is when we came across Silvershade, a hiver with a bad gambling debt. The perfect mark to blackmail into servitude. And so with the new drug mule in tow, Kiyaku headed for Flats Lagoon to turn in the second batch. We need bigger bags for more drugs! So I sent Rat Team 2 back to the swamp to pick up more merch, while Rat Team 1 delivered the next shipment. Hey look, it's Thog! Hey Thog! How's it going? The only problem with this area, and Kenshi in general, is everything wants to murder you on sight. Uh, I think those guys are bad news. What? What the fuck is that? Finish him! I can't believe this. Okay, change your plan. These guys need to come and rescue Thok. Thok's like, I'm sorry. Bruh. So I spent every penny I had left stuffing all their backpacks with enough Havana to fund the entire GDP of Cuba. Well, you know what they say. You've got to speculate to make buddy from drugs. I'm sure they say that. And so it was that our heroes set off on the journey for the final big score. Silvershade was attacked en route, but we were not gonna leave a comrade behind. Well, mainly because he had a fuck ton of hash in his bag. So Thok picks him up. We head over towards Flats Lagoon when I notice... What the fuck is that? The horrible giant white rat monster was after us. Thok, whilst carrying Silvershade, was simply too slow to get away. No, I'm gonna fight this thing. Put Silvershade down. And of course, Kiyaku had to come rescue them both, again. But finally on the dawn of the next morning, we arrived. To make a load of cash! It was at this point I realized you could put people in beds and they would recover quicker. A revolutionary idea! Thok looks like he's contemplating his life choices. We sold the drugs. I then decided to treat Thok and Kiyaku to some actual armor and spend a bit of cash to expand the team. Ooh, yeah, sure. A few beaks tried to have a chomp at me, but I gave them a knuckle dust witch right in the nose. Yeah, you want me on your team, eh? Well, these fists don't come cheap, rookie. You want raw power? You're gonna have to pay for it. 9,000 cats. Dig it. Hey, this guy has some pretty good stats. And I mean, he looks like he could handle himself in a fight. And so we set out to establish the rat base. 
We had only just left Flats Lagoon when we came across these wandering Tekken characters. Uh, Why so tiny? They want to hug the tiny. And only now, whilst I am watching this footage back, do I understand why Kiaku and Thok refused to fight. They were sent to passive! Oh my god, he just flying kicked him in the face. Uh. Who are these guys? So the Karate Masters promptly kicked the shit out of us and took all our stuff. Yeah, see you later, dickheads. Oh, God. New plan. With our cash, we made our first real estate investment. Wow, what a mansion. And I turned Silvershade into a killing machine. And as we had a... Uh, uh, as we had quickly outgrown our shoebox, I decided we needed to head north to Shem to create a base. Somehow on the way, we managed to kill this horrific murder giraffe and posed for a celebratory picture. Ah, uh, those were the days. But while passing north through Venge, we came across some serious problems. I think we can cut through here. Is God mad at us? Oh my God, this place is crazy. Ah! Get me out, get me out, get me out! Oh God. Okay, new, new plan. We would head south to a town called Morn. Now Morn was once a thriving mining town until the workers rose up and overthrew their slaver masters and is one of the most dangerous non-hostile towns in all of Kenshi. As soon as we arrive, the barman instructs us to stay away from the big building in the middle of the town. Yeah, right. Adventure awaits. Folk, the master rat, quickly picks the lock. All right, where's the treasure, boys? <laughs> Holy shit! Let's kill it! Uh, uh. He tore his leg off!